those worthy little parts. And I'm, it, I, this is the same exact time I, I just stopped the video and started it again. Oh yeah, it's right. You're not even getting to see the knockout. I forgot you're not even getting to see the thing. Okay, taking off the last. Um, I'm on like the twelfth twelfth screw currently. Well, this is the twelfth twelfth screw actually. Yeah. Okay. And it's a super super easy ridge isolation dude. Like this is one of the easiest mods. Well, that probably one of the easiest modding blasters in, in in the world. I mean, it's so easy. Oh yeah, and you you might want to go ahead and do this just so it doesn't just fling out on you. I know it happens to some people, but it didn't happen to me, so you know it's cool. Is this like glue thing? I think I should. Oh no, it's just the, this screw. Oh, okay. I was like, yo, is the thing glue? I swear I took this thing apart you just yesterday. Just yesterday I took this thing apart. I'm taking it apart again. Oh my gosh. I, I, I'm leaving all the screws in it. It's like I'm not even actually taking it apart. This is like the worst. This is disassembly. Just, just wait. Just. Okay, so I have one side, and then I have the internals um, right here. So we're gonna set the internals aside. We're gonna take our main main side or first side or well, actually, this is the opposite side. Uh, we're gonna take out all the screws. So you wanna you're gonna wanna find a very very flat space, and then you're gonna wanna flip it over, and then all the screws should just fall out. All thirteen of them. And I'm not sure if 13 also includes the screws from the priming handle either. But I'll uh, count them, actually. Let me just get all of them out first. Okay, so from the body, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, or 13 screws from the body. And now there's two screws in the priming handle on each side. So the body... It. I mean, we, we could paint this thing, though. We could paint this out. I think I paint would look uh, pretty, uh, pretty nice. But no, we're not. Oh, I have, I'd have to cut that put that piece on, wouldn't I? Yeah, I, I'd have to cut it. Oh well, whatever. Take this, sit this aside. You, you can put your screwdriver down for now too. Oh, you want to put your uh, little screws in a safe place. By the way, you don't want to leave them out on the floor. Or if you know they're going to be good in that spot and your dog's not going to hit them or nothing and knock them all over off the shelf. That's also an amazing spot to put it. Okay. All 13 slash 12 because I'm still forgetting them. Holy crap. Oh, uh, we got... Okay. We have internals. Let's <laughs> disassemble. So I already got this piece uh, disassembled, you could say. That clicks really, really nice though. Oh wait, no, I'm I'm showing you the wrong side. And this is the re release for this thing. It clicks on, it releases. I'm gonna take this off. It's gonna come with this thing. We're gonna clean that mainly. Uh, you wanna take this piece off. This is if this is dirty, you can go ahead and clean it too. Um, your trigger, I think you could you should leave the the trigger there. If you plan on cleaning the trigger, I'm 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 not sure what to do about that. <laughs> Okay, now it's like complete empty. Um, you can see or act that took out the air restrictor. I took a screwdriver and I just dug in all those holes, and now there's no restriction, so airflow just goes straight, straight on there. Um, taking apart the plunger tube system. Well, that is a beefy spring, actually. Wow. Okay, you're gonna want to take a screwdriver, replace heads. It's something more like a flat head. I could maybe a 3.5 or a 3. 3 0. I'm just going to take 3.5. And then you're going to want to kind of angle it down in here. And then you're going to want to flip it up. And then you're going to want to pull it down. Or you can just keep it, keep it there, actually. You, you, you know what? It'd be easier to just do it like this with it. Okay, boom. See it start coming off. Pick it again. Okay, and it should. And this last little pick here should kind of wobble itself off if it really wants to. 
that is if it even wants, yeah, that is if it even wants to, like, oh my gosh. I'm trying, I'm, I'm just, I just want to see if we can do a spring replacement. That's all, all I want to do with this, is clean the, um, faux outer barrel and see if we can do a spring replacement. And also see if I can go ahead and grab a short dart kit without paying anything for it. Oh my gosh, dude. <laughs> it's stuck on its last uh, freaking thing, dude. I'll resume the video once it takes me away. Boom, like two milliseconds later, it, it, it came out. So remember, this one up here. But now it took it apart. And the O rings has a horrible seal, by the way. That, that O ring's doing just about nothing for you. Literally doing about nothing for you. That is a horrible seal. Horrible. I'd r rather put tape around the edges than have that, honestly. Let's, let's actually see what tape kick can do. Because, I mean, that seal is just bad. But this is a plunger tube. You got a huge, huge, huge plunger. Pretty big spring. I'm pretty sure if we put an AR Pro spring in this thing, it'll be absolutely insane. Which I can. I sure can, but I do not want to break it. Because it's a Hasbro product, you know. So, I have a bag of springs. But first, we gotta figure out how to take out the spring to even swap it. Now, I see these little clips, actually. So there's these clips. There's one on this side, and there's also one on this side. I'm pretty sure you can pin these, and they and it should take off this uh, white top piece. And then I guess you get into the spring or something. I mean, the spring's fine, honestly. It, it, it's just like an IDFPS spring. But I would I would like to put something bigger in it. I at least want to get 120 out of it, at least. But I already took off the A restrictor, so that's like five more FPS. I, I, I guess that's all I can, I can do for it now, honestly. I, I don't even want to mess around with this thing. It just looks so annoying. And the O-ring seal is dog. Hold up. I'm, I'm going to grab a piece of tape. The ring seals come complete, dog. Uh, I, watch. I, I bet tape's gonna be a much, much better seal. Watch this. Just, just tape, tape all around the ring. Uh, just bunch of freaking tape. I mean, I have a bigger O ring for it, but it has no. I have no grease. So, watch this. This is gonna be a ten out of ten seal. Don't even got an O-ring. You're going to get 10 out of 10 seal with this. Boom. Boom. Dude, that's so much better. C compared to some freaking O-ring, dude. But it is not reliable. That thing is sliding off with that grease. And it catches. It sure does. So it's basically a ginormous O-ring. That's basically exactly what it is. It's just a ginormous O-ring. That's all it is, dude. So, I mean, if you want to put tape on the edges and make that your perfect seal, that sure does work. Better than the stock O-ring. But, I gotta do what you came this video for. I, I gotta clean. Okay. So, the barrel, I'm pretty sure... You know what you can do this thing. We're gonna go ahead and take out this from from here. Pretty self-explanatory how this thing works. And all you do is probably take a wet rag with some soap and just brush all along the sides of it. And, and you could also get inside. I, I, I'm gonna get inside too. And then I'm gonna do this. And then I might. And I yeah. And then I am going to do the left side of the body. I'll see how bad the right side of the body is, but first, I'm going to do this. So just as I, as I said, I took a wet rag, and I ran across the sides of this thing. I'm, I might have to make a part two to this, because I, I don't know if my editing software is, is going to um be able to put two 10-minute long videos in one video. I'm not sure if my editing software is big enough for that. Because I am editing on mobile, and I'm filming on mobile. Sam Samsung, yeah, <laughs> Samsung phone. See, this is 
This is bad, dude. Like, I'm not, I'm not talking about it's hard to do or nothing. I'm just saying it's it's dirty. Like this is this is dirty, dirty. This is all that tape dust too. This is that tape stuff, the stuff that 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 comes off of um tape and crap like like that. It's disgusting. I I'd recommend probably not a rag, but maybe a um th the things that you use to clean your cars that you put on your hands. Or some, or maybe those kitchen utensils. Some kitchen utensils would actually work very, 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 very well, and that's what the heck I'm gonna get because it's it's only getting worse. Now it shows up better on camera. I'm just gonna gonna go get a kitchen utensil. So I scrubbed it with a kitchen utensil for about 15 seconds, and I don't even know how good this thing is. A supposed kitchen utensil. It, it worked better than the rag, for sure, but I think I need to scrub it again. But it for sure worked better than a rag. 100% worked better than a rag. I'm going to go scrub it one more time. Okay, so I'm pretty sure if I scrubbed it for I scrubbed it for a good 30 seconds, it got a little bit better. But it's still on there. So I'm pretty sure if you scrub it for like a good minute, a solid minute... Should be able to come off. I'm gonna have to do it one more whole time, or I can just paint it like paint the whole thing. This is what I'm about to do. I'm about to cover up the inside with some tape and paint the whole thing. I'm dead serious. But, like, my barrel is dirty, dirty too. I mean, just my god. Come on, come on. Get it started in here. Get started in here. If you don't want to see this, I definitely recommend going a good 30 seconds or a minute into the video. Because, oh my gosh, is this the most complicated thing I've ever done. I'm literally on the edge of it. I'm, I'm just about done with it. Like, oh my gosh. Dude, got it. For sure, for sure got it here. I for sure got it. No no doubt about it, dude. I got it. <sighs> who even watches my, my, my videos? Like, who even watches these? No one. Like, like actually no one. But, you know, it's cool. It's cool. It's cool. It's, it's a little vibe. You know, we, we still making the bag. I'm just trying to make like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm on the edge, dude. Please. Please, 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 please. Okay, I'm pretty sure this is good enough. Um, I took about eight, eight, maybe like 80, 88% of it away. Um, it's definitely still noticeable. Um, I would love to have it all gone, but it was all my fault for putting tape on there anyways. I was just doing it for a seal. Just for a seal. But, you know, whatever. Just gonna put the seal up. Because I had a short dark conversion kit on it. Which I can put it back on now, but... I'd rather professionally buy a already professionally made one on that good crap. No. So I, I, I thought I'd just get one off of um, AK Blaster Mods instead. Be a whole lot better to do than do a ghetto on myself with tape and, and all types of crap like that. Okay. Okay. So now since you have a clean barrel, clean boy, you want to put your loop latch back on, loop latch spring. Once you loop latch spring on, you can pull it this way and this way and all that crap. You can pull it this way, this is where it's going to go. So great. Now, since you have it all taken apart, this side I'm not going to clean, but this side I will clean is this side. This side is going to just, literally, I'm just cleaning this first part with a wet rag. The top, uh, it's a little bit of Sharpie with a wet rag, and it's coming off amazing. Literally just fine coming off. 
scrubbed it for about 15 seconds. It's pretty, pretty good. Yep, boom. For about 15 seconds of a Sharpie scrub, and it's good to go. It's gone. Boom. Never even noticed. Now, uh, re reassembly. The easiest part of this. Oh, now the e is the easiest part reassembling or disassembling? I want to say the easiest part is probably disassembling. Nah. I mean, they're both equally easy because you're basically just doing the same thing. So, whatever. Where's the plunger? Oh, yeah. So, I I'm going to try out the, the um tape seal. I'm going to try how it works. I'm going to see it. I'm going to test it. Uh... I'm, it's, I'm not sure if this thing is anywhere close to reliable, but it sure does give me a good freaking seal, and it goes in there just fine. I mean, using tape as an O-ring is probably the new meta. I, I'm wait, wait, new meta? Wait, I'm talking about Warzone here. Um, it's probably the wave. It's probably the, the freaking go-to now. Like, this is, this is it. This is the wave. This is the wave, my guy. Oh, yeah, and you can also turn what position you want to put this thing into. Like, if you want to put it this way, well, left you could. You want to put it right, you could. You could turn this anywhere you wanted to. Would, would that look kind of boot boot leg like that? Or is it, would it look fine? Okay, that's how it came. Okay. What if I twisted it the other way? It looks fire. Okay, uh, putting this thing back together, it seems hard because you got to push this white piece up, but no. When, when in reality, you push the orange piece down, it makes it ten times easier, and all four spots click in absolutely perfectly, super satisfying, and you have a perfect prime. Now, what I recommend doing eh, is I recommend putting this in first. First thing you put in is, is your plunger. That's the first thing you always put in. The plunger, once your plunger is in... And they're nice and tight. You're, you're not you're not gonna fire it, okay? What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your barrel. You're gonna wanna put. Oh my god, I'm 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 dumb. Wow, I I am dumb. I am literally dumb. I am. Wait, wait no, why am I saying that? Uh, I'm not dumb. Why am I saying that? Okay. You gonna put this barrel back on. I wanna get a brass version for this thing. Oh, whatever. And you want to extend this. Thing. I'll show you what I'm doing in a second. Just hang on with me, please. Oh my gosh. Okay. Do this. Trust me, I'll, I'll, I'll totally show you this. Give me one second. Okay. Here it is, fully reassembled. You got this piece on. I'll show you from front to back, full reassembly here. It's super, super freaking easy. Not even hard to do. And then you slap this piece on. And then it is reassembled. You're done. Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the internals here. Then you take this piece, just slap it over. No, no problem.